Hi, I'm Dr. Joe Sucre with the Arizona Trauma Association, and this is Trauma in a Flash. Airway and breathing emergencies are simply high-stress situations, and tension pneumothorax rings right up there. A tension pneumothorax results when air escapes from the lung into the pleural space, creating an increase in intrathoracic pressure as the lung collapses. This in turn causes a decrease in blood return to the right side of the heart and ultimately results in cardiopulmonary collapse. Patients with tension pneumothorax appear in respiratory distress with tachycardia, tachypnea, and difficulty breathing. The site of injury should be notable for decreased or absent breath sounds, and you may be able to palpate crepitus of the chest wall. Finally, hypoxia and hypotension are late signs that demand immediate action. Although often talked about, tracheal deviation away from the site of injury is rarely if ever seen in the adult. The three recommended locations for placing the catheter are the second intercostal space in the midclavicular line, the fifth intercostal space in the mid-axillary line, and the fifth intercostal space in the anterior axillary line. Catheters need to be at least 14 gauge in diameter and over 5 to 8 centimeters in length to have a high likelihood of entering the pleural space. Although some recommendations include inserting the needle catheter assembly completely to its hub, I caution against this practice. I recommend attaching the syringe to the needle catheter assembly and pull back on the plunger as you advance. You will draw back air when you enter the pleural space. At that time, advance forward another centimeter, then slide the catheter over the needle all the way to its hub. While the second intercostal space remains the primary recommended insertion location, Remember that the fifth intercostal space may be better for your patient based on their particular body habitus. Be vigilant in reevaluating your patient. If the first catheter is ineffective, you may need to insert a second catheter on the same side. Also, it is possible to have bilateral tension pneumothoraces. Be prepared to needle both sides. If your patient remains in distress, despite two catheter placements on that same side, don't go for a third. It's time to move on to circulation. Finally, not all pneumothoraces are tension pneumothoraces. Placing a needle thoracostomy is a life-saving intervention meant for that patient who you deem is in imminent danger of dying. Thank you for watching this episode of Trauma in a Flash. 